In this video, we're going to be talking about how to use something called the Polygon Interior Angles Sum Theorem. Now, the theorem at first, you know, when you first hear it, it may sound a little bit intimidating, but I promise you, it's actually one of the easiest things you'll ever use. So let's begin. Um, if you also notice on the side, I, I have four bullet points. And uh, in order for us to be able to solve a two-step equation, uh, we're going to be using some of those properties. And uh, we are also going to be using this formula over here, the n minus 2 times 180. And that is the formula that comes from the theorem. All right, so let's begin. First thing that we want to do is, uh, we want to uh, understand what the formula is saying. If you notice, the formula has the letter N. The letter N is always going to be equal to the number of sides. It's always going to be the case. Uh, what I'm going to do, um, as, as an example, is I am going to give you something that we refer to as a pentagon. Now, a pentagon is a polygon that has five sides. So let's go ahead and sketch that. And if you notice, I have made my polygon so that not all of the angles are the same. This angle is not the same as that angle, not the same. Okay. Uh, what the theorem is saying is that if we were to add this angle plus this angle plus this angle plus this angle plus this angle, it's going to equal to a certain amount. Now, for this one scenario, I'm giving you something with five sides, but if your polygon had six sides, seven, eight, nine, 17 sides, um, the formula the concept would still be the same, and you would have to use the exact same formula. So let's go ahead and start. Um, the number of sides happens to be 5. So that this over here is going to be our value of n. Now what we're going to do is we are going to substitute n into the equation, into the formula. And so 5 minus 2, that makes 3. 3 times 180. Well, 3 times 180, that makes uh, 540 degrees. If you have a calculator, please use it. If you don't have a calculator, no worries. Um, you can always do the multiplication on the side. And just to illustrate, 3 times 0 makes 0. 3 times 8 makes 24. We're going to carry a 2. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 makes 5. So that is where 540 comes from. OK, so once again, what we have done is we have discovered the sum of all of the angles. What we need to do next is we need to be able to figure out how much each individual angle is going to be. So what I am going to give you are the following terms. So please write them down. So we're going to say that this over here is 2x. This is going to be 142 degrees. 2x. This is going to be 3x plus 14. And this over here is going to be 3x plus 14. Something else that I recommend you do is have two highlighters readily available. Uh, one highlighter is going to be for all of the numbers that have a letter. And what you want to do is you want to add all of those. Up. Those are considered like terms. And, and this is mental math, so please follow along. 2x plus 2x makes 4x plus 3x, 7x. And then plus 3x, that makes a total of 10x. 
What we're going to do next is we are going to use our second highlighter. I'm going to be using my green highlighter for all of the numbers. And once again, if you don't have a calculator, that shouldn't have to stop you from being successful. Uh, we can just do the addition on the side. So for the first column, 2 plus 4 plus 4, that's going to make 10, carry a 1. Second column is going to be 5, 6, 7. And then I'm going to bring down the 1. So this over here uh, is going to be 170. Now, what we do know is that the sum of all of those angles have to add up to 540 degrees. What we're going to do next is we are going to be using uh, some of the properties that I have written on the side. And these are the properties that we use for solving uh, for the value of x. So the first thing that we're going to look at is the constant, which happens to be positive 170. You always want to get rid of the constant first. We are going to subtract 170 from each side. These two are opposite. So we're going to be left with 10x is equal to, now over here, this becomes 0. 4 is going to have to borrow 10 from that, so that becomes 14. So then we're going to end up with 7 and 3. 370. Now we're going to introduce something called the division property of equality, which says to... Uh, divide both sides by the exact same amount. And there you have it. Congrats, you have just solved for the value of x. What we're going to do next is we are going to take that value of x and we are going to substitute it into um, each individual angle to be able to come up with the amount for the degree. Um, if you notice, um, we actually have two angles that repeat. This 2x over here is the same thing as this 2x. So if we find the angle for one, we'll know the angle for the other. And same thing for the two base angles. Uh, they're both 3x plus 14. So by you knowing one, you're also going to know the other. What I'm going to do is I am going to look at this angle over here and I am going to substitute in 37 in for x. Uh, I'm going to multiply 2 times 37, so that's going to make, let's see, 14, carry a 1, 6 plus 1 is 7. So my entire angle is going to be 74 degrees. My other angle over here is also going to be 74 degrees. All that's left are the base angles. So let's go ahead and take 3 times 37 and add 14 to it. Um, 3 times 37, that's going to make, let's see, 3 times 7 is 21, carry a 2. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2. That makes 11, and then I need to add 14 to it. So that's going to make a total of 125 degrees. So this over here is 125 degrees, and then this over here is also 125 degrees. All that's left is to confirm that the sum of all of the angles adds up to 540. Uh, I'm going to use my calculator just to make the process go a little bit faster. So I'm going to be adding 142 plus uh, 74 plus, uh, I'm going to go clockwise, plus 125 plus 125 again, and then plus 74. And this over here is going to equal to 540 degrees, which means that we have done the problem correctly. 
this is the end of this video. Uh, please click on my next video for an additional example. Best of luck to you.